With all due honor and praise to the Most High, worship day through the divine image of my wives. Amen. Welcome to the Horseman Law Podcast. And um, back at it. Uh, welcome, everybody. Everybody that's online. Everybody that's watching. All my brothers out there in the field right now. Still working. Still hustling. Um, still getting your paper. Uh, salute to you. And, um, yeah, what's up? It's the happy hour. We're going to talk shit. There's a lot of stuff going on, man. There's a lot of stuff going on, man. And um, I'm interested, man. I'm interested to hear what Jug got to say about it. He's interested to hear what Killer J got to say about it. And, yeah, we're going to talk about it, man. There's a whole lot of stuff going on. The industry is changing. Uh, laws are changing. You know, so much stuff going on, and I hope everybody's prepared. And this show is for that purpose. Try to get everybody prepared for what's happening and what's going to happen. So, um, yeah, let's chop it up a bit. I'm going to light this uh, stogie and uh, get into it. So, in sports news, though, Salute to my man, Kyrie Irving. Killing him. Put up 60 last week. I mean, killing him. And I love it, man, because the, the shoe booties are, the shoe booties are uh, highly irritated. I mean, these, these clowns up at ESPN and um, the other networks, oh, man, they mad. They mad, and he just keep killing them. And I hope, I hope he continues to. Like I said before, I want him to get a chip. I want to see him go to the championship. I want to see the Nets win. Um, I didn't really have a team before. Uh, I do now. And, and, and my team is Kyrie. Um, I just want to see him win. I just want to see him do good. Um, you know, Farrakhan, uh, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, he used to always say something in his speeches that I that I hold dear. If uh, you're the system's man, then you ain't God's man. So if the system is highly favored with you and you carry favor with the system and you carry favor with um, these corporations and, and these entities and big tech and big pharma, if they're smiling at you, then you're doing something wrong. So anybody that the system hates, I love, period, point blank. If the system hates them, I love them because there's nothing that uh, these shoe booties, you know, these clowns out here trotting around promoting all the worst shit um, that you can intake in your body, all the worst shit you can do, all that shit, all these shoe booties doing that, them are the true enemy. Those are the true enemies. And. You know, uh, I take every opportunity to shine a light on them fools and shine a light on them punks um, leading the way. Mr. Smith over at ESPN. Just disgusting, man. I just, it, it chaps my hide, man. Every time I hear the man talk, like he goes out his way to speak down on Kyrie and um, the decisions he made. And, and, it's, and, it's, and it's quiet. It's quiet on anybody else. Anytime you put a brother in the line of fire between Stephen A. Smith and the public, he goes above and beyond in order to smear a brother, man. I, I just can't. I just can't. I can't stand it. And I'm um, speaking of that and speaking smearing campaigns. Shout out to Deshaun Watson, um, former quarterback for the Houston, for Houston. And, yo, shout out to him, man. Shout out to him. Uh, a no indictment. Um, once again, this is, this, is, this is quickly becoming the season of exposure, right? This is quickly becoming season of exposure. There's been so many cases. Chris Brown, uh, Dooley Loke, Dooley, whatever, however, however you say his name, uh, uh, Dooley Lowe or whatever his name is. 
But that's not the point. The point is there's so many women being exposed for lying right now. And it's a backlash from the years previous where the the hashtag believe all women just just ran amok and nobody took common sense into play and started to ask questions. And now we're getting into a place and getting into a space where people are asking questions and people want to know the answers to these questions. And if you don't have the answers to these questions, then you're being exposed. And and, and I salute that. Not that I'm a, a advocate or, or, or not that I promote violence or rape culture or anything like that. I think any man that takes advantage of a woman should be uh, taken off the planet. But at the same time, every man, every woman, every human being is capable of lying. And, um, you know, there's no such thing as guilty till proven innocent. You know, uh, the moment we start to believe that, especially in the black community, and especially as black men, the moment we start believing in each other as guilty till proven innocent, then, then they've won, you know. This is the reason why there was lynching. This is the reason why uh, places like Tulsa happened, places like uh, the Black Wall Street and, and the destruction and devastation that went on in these black communities back then. That's the reason for that, because they perceived us guilty until proven innocent, and they were able to parade us around and torture us in public and uh, never had to answer for it. So them days are up, though. That shit is up. Um, me too. All that shit is up. All that shit is up. You're going to have to prove uh, your allegations. You're going to have to start keeping track uh, uh, of all these stories and, and, and all these men that are being destroyed publicly based on lies. And, and thank God they're being exposed. And it's not just women, you know. Um, I think Tyreek called him. Bussy P. Newton or, <laughs> or uh, Jussie Smollett, whatever you want to call him, uh, this man just got exposed. But at the same time, proved proved to me anyway that um, uh, this was a political hit. This was a political piece. And, and he proved that because the man got a, a record appeal I've ever, I've ever seen, the fastest appeal I've ever seen in the criminal justice system um, unheard of for a black man in the criminal justice system, an emergency appeal based on threats to a convicted felon. I've never seen it. Um, and, and, and he was out in two days. So what that's what that shows me is that this dude was clearly politically connected. Um, this whole thing was a political hit job and, you know, I mean, salute to him, I guess. I mean, I ain't never going to um, uh, shit on a free black man, but salute to him. But at the same time, man, he put a lot of people in harm's way. He told some lies and, um, you know, we're going to pay for that in the long run. The black community, black men, we're going to pay for that in the long run because, uh, if it's harder to believe us, then it's harder, it's harder for us to be free. And that's just the bottom line. You give them an excuse not to believe us. You give them an excuse to criminalize us further. And it's going to be even harder for young black brothers to stay out of prison and to stay out of jail. It's just a, it's just some more roadblocks that we got to navigate and get through. And we will, you know, we will. But that's Jesse Schmoulet. And um, I got Killer J. You about to get Killer J on the line. Let's give him a call. See what he up to. Please leave your message for five, seven, one. He just called me. Let's try him one more time. Please leave your message mm. for. Let me shoot him a text. Tell him we all here. Mm. 
Oh, yeah, and uh, LeBron James got one step closer to having the most points scored ever in the history of the NBA. That's crazy. Team lost, though. Uh, one second. Is that him? Call from. It's Killer J. It's Killer J. Yo, yo, yo. Killer J. What's good, how you doing? What's good, brother? I'm blessed up here, man. You chilling? Yeah. Yeah, I was just I was just talking to the people about your um your boy Jesse Schmolay. Oh yeah, that was topic. <laughs> Now, 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 you know, just like I know, uh, the criminal justice system. Have you ever seen somebody get an emergency appeal? A convicted felon get an emergency I, appeal, an emergency release but from you know, Cook County Jail? He, right. He's going to he has two communities to play from. He could play from the black community and uh the LGBT, whatever that you know, what I'm saying that community, alphabet family. I got you. Yeah, but you know he's very theatrical. You know he's a drama queen. Any time that you're going to get cut from a TV show and you stage with your lover that you was abducted and kidnapped and tortured and racial names and made the babe and bleach because you got kicked off a TV show, you know he's he has a mental problem. I believe that. I do believe that. <laughs> part this reality. If George Floyd didn't get murdered, he he would still be in jail. Mm. That's deep. Because we both know he'd have got the most beautiful welcome home from Cook County Jail that he would never have left. Boy, they was waiting on him. Yeah, he'd been still with lipstick and lace. They they was waiting on him, man. They was waiting on him. See, I think I think the motherfucker was a hit job. I think they was trying to go after Trump, and uh, they put this boy in a play. And he came up with the most outlandish story. I just ain't never seen a motherfucker get an emergency appeal because he was scared. I ain't never seen that before. I ain't never seen that in the criminal system. Oh, ever. you said it was the hitch job with tricks. Explain that. See, because in his story, he said two white uh -huh. boys, two white boys beat him up with MAGA hats. Oh, MAGA hats. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you see? So he put the MAGA hats on there to try to make it seem like it was two radical white boy Republicans that came down and yeah. whooped his ass. And that was never the case. So why did you have MAGA hats? Why did you put those 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 dudes you was fucking on in MAGA hats to have them beat you up? Yeah. Somebody put him up to that. <laughs> you know what would be the most craziest thing? And we'll say this. A lot of times I'm finding out right now, you notice whenever you do something bad in the public side, you, instantly your sexuality comes out in what you've done. So they try to make you look deviant from all angles. Like All angles. It wasn't bad enough if guys were trainers, and now they had to do narcotics and right. stuff each other. Then they had an orgy. Like, <laughs> right, 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 right. It, it will never be that you just did this. It always was some, you got beat in the face of hot dogs, and you had to play with sausages. You know what I'm saying? Y'all was sword fighting. It's always something crazy, man. Well, you know, I mean, especially when you're looking at this dude, first they see him as a black man, so they're going to make sure that he he uh, effeminizes himself in every way possible. So he had to come out with the most craziest story and the most ridiculous backstory. When 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 all he had to do was say, you know what, um, I lied. That's all he had to do. But, but, but see, you know, like we live in a culture where it's so hard for a man to say, look, I lied. Right. But see, hold on. But that's because, look at this one. I just had this conversation ago with my dear best friend, right? A conversation. These men out here in this world, this social media thing is a lie. Mm. And that they let it be a lie. Mm -hmm. So you can't tell the truth because you already told a lie. Right. Stick to the I was just having a conversation, right? And I was saying, you, you know, we, you and me both been in Florida. Beautiful state, nice gyms, you know, a couple of nice restaurants, nice hotels, whatever the case is. But, and, you know, I'm not saying this just sticking on Florida. But from the looks of things, we know some real guys, 
JT, Jamaica, Maine, Brandon. There's a few other guys who know that are real, you know, just security, real Big time. little father. Big time. But it's a whole lot of people out there that do security in Florida that you guys are living in the fantasy world. Like, for the record, Will Smith does not have a black bodyguard. So you cannot post a picture and say, Will Smith is mm. a but he doesn't, he doesn't have a black bodyguard. Mm. But another thing with these guys, your Instagram page can't be more worth than your paycheck. If you're not making over $200,000 a year and you're posting all these pictures and your pictures say one thing, but your employment says you're a part-time guard that never left the state of Florida, I'm confused. What's so hard about you just shut, what's hard about you just shutting your mouth and working? Perpetrate. First, first of all, everybody's bodyguard doesn't fly private. We we all know this. this but how fun. can a guy post a picture you find privately and you don't have a client that you have the value of that? Mm. And what's and what's the purpose? What's the purpose of posting the picture in the jet that don't, that don't belong to you? What were we gonna say? How you wear someone else's underwear instead of yours? That, that's, that's, <laughs> guys, are the, the sad part about it is, and it's the sad part. It's like spitting each other's mouth, right? Mm -hmm. These guys manipulate the women with social media. These women manipulate the guys with social media. They're they're fucking with lies. It's mm -hmm. not even physical contact. I'm gonna lie on you. You gonna lie on me. We gonna lie together, and then we have orgasm. That's wow. how society is right now. Wow. And it just, it, it sickens me because being a black man, a father, a friend, a brother, you're making our community look so weak by having this fictitious page when you don't even have the proper client. Because Floyd Mayweather comes in your town, you're not his bodyguard. That is a fact. I, I'm going to say this right now. That is a fact. We're going to court. If anybody posts a picture of one of our clients going towards their client, I'm going to knock your teeth out, hold your teeth on your face. That's right. What they're going to do? Because you, 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 you look at them as a black man. I'm speaking to these guards. Please stop making us look stupid and thirsty. Facts. That's not what exact protection does. If you want to impress somebody at the booby trap or club lib or story or Pinky's Cafe, then put your own lie together. Stop taking executive protection and making black men look stupid that have actually worked to have clients do this stuff. Mm. Now that's Next big. You know, tender ass. I'm a bodyguard. I'm just in town. Mm. Tender like, swindler bodyguard. You know me, Tank. I'm off of this. Stop making our community look stupid. Let these rappers are killers with stupidity. These dumbass athletes. We are supposed to be the gatekeepers. Stop making black men look stupid in society with professions they don't even want us in. That's right. That's right, because you're fucking up the job for everybody. All done behind women is 2022. You can buy a blow-up doll. That's a fact. You can and blow her up and do what you do. But stop making us look stupid behind chasing flesh. Mm. Nah, that's real. That's real. Yeah. So, so let me ask. So let me ask you. So let me ask you. What should they do? How should one? How should one of these dudes trying to get in the industry? How should they promote themselves? What's the best way for them to promote themselves? Look, okay, okay. Sit down. Look. Now it's, it's like it's like a devil's sword. If you're actually trying to promote yourself, tank in 2022, it's kind of hard because Instagram is. I gotta say it's the right way. Instagram benefits. But then it don't, like, if you're honest, be like, how you doing? My name is Black Charles. I do executive protection. I'm based out of Plantation, Florida. You know, if you need a guy, that's me. That might not sell nothing. Right. You might get two likes and one follower. Right. But it, it, it's sad to say the fraud guy is going to get more exposure by being a liar in the strength and get no exposure by being strong. So I would say based upon this, right, you ha might have to do this old-fashioned way. If you're actually working there, you know, Florida is, is a city that's based off tourism. Everybody's coming there. So the local people, the local security, the local ladies, the local promoters, the local hotels, they thrive off tourists. So you have to put yourself in a situation that give, give one of these jack promoters. Hey, bro, look, when you know, you got these celebrities coming to town, these athletes. 
I can hold them down. Here's my price. You know, you go out, you go, you know, you making some money in the city. I move around with you. You know, you got to shake and bake. Hustle yourself. Mm -hmm. The best hustle from a man is from flesh on flesh, meaning that you're actually present. They can see what you're doing. Right. Right. See, I would even, I would even go a step further, man. Uh, I think these dudes need to get the proper mentorship. Reach, it, 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 okay, that, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, reach but out, that, reach out to the motherfuckers who are doing it the right way, and get their backing, and then they can make yeah. those introductions for you. You understand well, what I'm saying? We, that's that's how we do our thing. But you know this, it's gonna be pretty hard for these fraud guards to communicate with you and me and want some sympathy and employment. <laughs> And you, the storyline's a lie. I say that. Deal with that, bro. Say that. Say that. That, that, that. That's real. That's real. Sympathy. Yeah. Protection based on sympathy. You want protection based on sympathy, huh? Yeah. Say that. You got to think, bro. Everything in society, you could hold up a sign, my kids are dead, I need money. Boom. You could say, I have my mom was shot, uh, go from me, Paige. You might even get a girl to give you a kiss because your cat died. All that's all that is reward based upon sympathy. We will look stupid giving a grown man that's lying a sympathy job. Mm. Now that's, now that's real. real. We're, and that's we're real. not going to water down what we got. Exactly. Exactly. Now that's real. You got to do the work. You got to do the work. Yeah. What, what, what is man saying to King Arthur? We don't do that. We don't water down our bloodline. Facts. Facts. Ain't no crossbreeding over here. No crossbreeding here, bro. Strength and weak will never meet each other. And that's the realest thing, man. That's the realest thing, man. For all y'all out there who really want to get started, don't go to the Instagram first. That ain't the first place for you to go. The first place for you to go is the trenches. You need to learn. Everybody, everybody wants to avoid traffic. And it's a good thing. You see the laws, uh, Indiana, mm -hmm. uh, I think Alabama, Mississippi, it, these are non-permit states to carry a firearm. Open Gentlemen, carry. So your states with your firearms so you know exactly what to do. Yep. Yep. Now that's law right there. That's law right there. There's a lot of dudes out here in the game carrying firearms, don't have the knowledge and don't have the background and ain't done their homework and they out here, man. Crash dummies. Straight crash dummies. You're going to get yourself and you're going to get your clients and everybody with you locked up. Yeah. Do the work, man. And, and, and remember what we always say. If you're going to carry a firearm, please have proper firearm training. Second of all, please have firearm insurance. And third of all, have all your proper, proper uh, permits and certificates. Absolutely. And no Absolutely. laws of the state in the city and the community. Absolutely. Now, and I said this, I said this last show. I said this last show, Killer, you wasn't here. But I said this last show, all you guys out here walking around with high capacity AR-15s, uh, 300 blackouts running around with that with that type of armament. You don't know what you're doing and you don't know what the states that's going to allow that. I could tell you right now, you could be more efficient. You can be you could be better armed if you carry the proper shotgun and you pair, and you carry those arms. Shotguns are available and legal in all 50 states. So when you out there, when you out there on tour, you traveling around. If you ain't got the permits, if you ain't got the registration, if you ain't got the legal, the the, the legal ease to carry these type of armaments with that much ammunition, you are going to get busted. I'm telling you right now. But then take this another one too. Also, right, this isn't collusion. Who are you working <laughs> for? You need to use an AR-15 <laughs> with a hundred round drum. 100 round drum, like who exactly? You, this, you don't work for the snow cartel. Exactly. What are you doing? If any guard shows like that to somebody, now, now, property security is one thing. Mm -hmm. If you live in a desolate pool, mm -hmm. but actually, that's protection. I would run away. That guy's gonna get everybody locked up. It's gonna get everybody locked up. Yeah. And I guarantee he don't know what he's doing with it. No. Huh. Like you say, just that he's not even have the proper ammunition for that type of situation. Exactly. Exactly. And that's what they're aiming on, man. It's the biggest trick bag. It's the easiest trick bag. You get a guy out here who looks like he just stepped out of a, a motherfucking video game and you and, and you just roll on everybody with he with. 
Nine times out of 10, you're going to catch somebody with a warrant. Nine times out of 10, you're going to catch somebody with a felony. They can't be around that type of ammunition. They can't be around them type of arms. So guess what? Now everybody in the vehicle is illegal. Nine times out of 10, they're going to be smoking. Nine times out of 10, you're going to have a bag of weed on you. It's not going to be rolled up. It's not going to be in a in a vape pen. Boom. That's a that's a, that's a, that's a weapons charge and an illegal narcotic charge. I mean, they're waiting on you fools every day. And y'all making the same mistakes over and over again. You said it. I've said it. Can't nobody get in my vehicle with me that can't be in my vehicle with me. Yeah. And Period. what we always say, it, 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 this reality, right? If you smoke marijuana and you have a gun, an unlicensed gun, you have marijuana on you, you're not getting in a security vehicle. That's number one. That's one number one. two, if you don't have the proper credentials, you're not getting in a security vehicle. Number three, if you don't know how to use the firearm, you're definitely not getting in the vehicle. <laughs> you might as well catch Uber. You, you be the chase Uber because you're not getting with us. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is the crazy part. We said before, these guys don't even know the proper ammunition to use in these guns while performing security. Mm. Even house. Let me tell you something, man. You know me. You know me. And you know how I move. You can't roll with a certain amount of ammunition. And you might say, Tank, Killer J, why, why can't we use a certain type of ammunition? Because you fuck around and shoot through a nigga and hit me. It goes through him. Exactly. You, you you fuck around and shoot through a car, go through three cars, hit a baby, hit a, hit a single mother. You, I'm not going to jail for life for some nigga that don't know how to use his weapon. Huh. Ain't happening. <laughs> It hurt. And, that, and that's what I say for If you don't know what you load into that magazine, man, get away from me. Mm -hmm. you know, on top of that, what we always say, say on top of that, you if you've never been into gunfight, if you've never been in a situation where your life was on the line, you had to defend yourself a firearm, you had to exchange bullets with firearm against another person, then why do you want a firearm right now if you don't know what you're doing? Mm. Like, you and me both, when that thing goes bang, you're going to see who knows what and who don't know what, and you're going to see the fastest to the slowest to get the fuck out of Dodge. It's and, crazy, man. And that's a jewel right there. If you if you haven't been in a gunfight, why would you even carry a gun? That's a yeah. jewel right there. Not everybody in this industry carries guns. Not everybody in this industry carries all the time. You can forget about it. 40 and want to become a ninja. <laughs> Like, bro, where was you at fucking 30 years ago? <laughs> Man, let me say something. <laughs> turn, is, turn 40 and want to become a ninja. <laughs> I know for a fact that the people that the Instagram are sitting down somewhere drinking. saying we got about the dumbest niggas in the world we getting paid. Getting paid. And we, where these niggas going to lie and lie and lie and dance and lie, dance, lie, 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 dance, lie. Mm. No, I'm sorry. They're going to pay for yeah, they're going to learn. They're going to learn a valuable lesson, man. Especially. I'm, I'm going to tell you, I got a list. A list. <laughs> when, it's, when tour time comes, I have a list. I have a list of these famous internet, Instagram bodyguards. I got every city I'm going to, I want to talk. I want to see these guys. <laughs> <laughs> You don't even understand. That's my that's my wish Christmas list to myself. I got a list. <laughs> World famous Instagram World famous. bodyguards. Stomp down G's. Stomp down G's. OG Bobby Johnson's out here in the streets. It was all jokes out with all this. Why all of a sudden is it such a shock to people right now how racist the Ukraine is being? Mm. Like you, what it is? Speak Every, on it. Every 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 white person from these foreign countries have colonized anybody that looks like you and me. Mm -hmm. And the crazy part is, from Syria, Sierra Leone, Cameroon, Niger, Lagos, Cameroon. Come on, back at Sudan. Sudan yeah, Sudan. You didn't show any of these people the same amount of empathy. That you're showing these people from Ukraine, mm. and their their women died, their mm. kids died, their brothers died. 
You let these people with these bogus, radical things on these people, and everybody over there isn't bad. Come on. They, they, they systematically destroyed the country of Libya. Yeah. Where they, where, where they are doing, where they are doing human trafficking slave trades at, the, at this very moment in Libya. I've got one better for you. Right now, Africa is taken over right now by every other country but itself. Mm. Where, where are the people at? Take, take, okay, we'll, we'll stop there. What did y'all do to the people from Haiti? Mm. Trying to get away from something. Y'all beat them and chased them with horses. But you have these Europeans on here. Y'all give them, y'all take care of their dogs, their cats. You give them the kids socks. You put them on trains. But as soon as somebody of a darker picnic come around, oh, he can't go on the train. He can't go here. He can't go there. Then what is it? Exactly. How are you going to have humanity for one, but not for everyone? Come on, man. Malcolm X, Malcolm X said it the best. I ain't shed no tears, but nobody for myself. I ain't shed no tears, but nobody for black folks. I'm sorry. I ain't got no more tears to shed. I can't I can't shed no tears for Ukraine. Anytime you in anytime you in bed with card carrying Nazis, there, 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 there's, there's no tears to be shed for you. I'm sorry. Nah. I'm sorry. Nah, we good. We good. In my thing, anybody of any type of education on the history of conflict and war way before the ukraine what did you do to the vietnamese people mm. way before what did you do to the continent africa is the largest continent in the world but if you look at a map it makes it look like the size of a cheeto y'all raped and pillaged the land mm -hmm. took Why whatever you wanted everywhere else and fight these people but y'all not going there but the crazy is both administrations had something to do with mm -hmm. Ukraine. Yep. Both I had this, this stuttering, stammering, bambling fool, Rudy Giuliani. He was with he was with two spies from over there. <laughs> the smartest person out of everything going on in America, you know what it is? Is Giselle Maxwell. Yeah. Because she <laughs> where all the bodies are buried. Right. She know who all the kids. Right. She had the most quiet trial in the world. Shit. She, she, she ain't locked up now. She put a body yeah. double. She put a body double on trial and she's living in a mansion somewhere in France right now. Because like you say for the crazy part is how you it, see Kyle Rittenhouse was just a, this me. One thing about this country, they're going to smack you in the mouth but turn it away. Everybody was on Kyle Rittenhouse because take this reality, right? If you're going to be, if you're a lawyer, right? And you know all the laws of the state. Okay, listen to me. Now, in order to have a hunting license in the state of Wisconsin tank, okay, the hunting the barrel has to be seven inches, right? Uh huh. Absolutely. What would they didn't even measure the barrel of the rifle that he had. Mm. And no matter what, we both know this. The gun came across state lines. That's a federal charge. It's a federal That's charge. Right? Federal charge. Dude, if you locking up uh, Baby Blue from Pretty Ricky for using false funds for PP loans, why not Kyle Rittenhouse for the AR-15 with that? Come on, that's, come on, that's fraud of fun. Any crime, any crime committed in during the commission of a crime, if you are during the commission of a crime, anything you do during that is illegal. But things even better. No one's even saying. I told you before. Who contacted a minor to do armed security in another state? That's the legacy of minors. That's a federal charge. Then it came across state lines. That's a beyond federal charge. Then on top of that, who drove you across state lines after you shot and killed two people? Ooh. That's aiding a fugitive. That's aiding and abetting, eh? We, well, we always say this about the ammunition. What ammunition did he have? Mm. Mm, leaving the scene of a crime. Ain't, it, le leaving the scene of a crime. Ain't that a felony? It's a felony. How did a 17 year old boy purchase the ammunition for AR 15? Mm. Couldn't have. Somebody had to buy a form. And that's illegal within yeah. itself. Yeah. Now, if you, if you guys, if Charlemagne the God take guilty, makes your minor giving a six pitch year girl a beer, the motherfucker that gave this guy a gun. Gave this guy a rod. Gave this guy the bullets. <laughs> what the fuck is he getting? He got no charges. No charges. Unbelievable. 
Well, now he's a hero. Yeah. He's a hero. But see, they, this week, what's going to happen now, you know, it's right. And these states are starting to see this shit. If you just told me now I don't need a permit to carry my gun and it's First Amendment rights to carry a gun, then why why am I going to listen to you anyway? Right. Why are you giving me this? Y'all guys love talking about the Constitution in 1776. First Amendment, the carry you allowed to carry a firearm, that I don't need a permit to carry a firearm. It's my constitutional right American citizen to carry a firearm. Second Amendment, constitutional rights. That's going to be the, that's going to be like New York, California, Chicago, mm-hmm. I think maybe Jersey, and Ohio. Those are the last states, bro. And it's going to be big soon that, you know that. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, the, the biggest thing, the, biz, the biggest thing is the Supreme Court. So once the yeah. Supreme Court issues these um, issues these edicts, then, then then we'll see exactly what's going to happen. But you know they're already trying to circumvent that by putting uh, certain restrictions on ammunition. We've been talking about ammunition all night. Yeah. What you going to do? Yeah, they might say, "Cool, you can you can carry whatever the fuck you want to carry." But guess what? All your ammunition is going to be trace ammunition. All your ammunition is going to be registered. People don't understand. You know, like I mean, that's a trick bag. Sure, you can carry a gun. Mm-hmm. Now, I mean, three bullets is $190. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they don't even realize that. It's the biggest hustle. Biggest hustle. You know what I'm saying? Look, remember this, remember this. I had to tell somebody a couple of days ago, Putin don't have nothing to do with the gas. America's never got gas from Russia. <clears throat> so you can fall for that. This is me. That comes from Saudi Arabia mm-hmm. and Venezuela. Mm-hmm. So y'all keep the dumb shit. The government is controlling all this shit. Exactly. Now, 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 no, nobody has. Everybody has a short memory. Nobody remembers during the Obama administration when they when they opened up the reserves. See, see, Obama was even, Obama was even smart enough to know when the gas prices was rising to open up those reserves in order to regulate the fucking market. Yeah. Now this this fucking the weekend at Bernie's as president we got right now. Ain't got enough good sense to open up the reserves in order to level off the market, so we're not paying eight, nine dollars for a fucking gallon of gas. That and should tell you everything right. you need to know. And this was so scary. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. So I go. What about the struggling fathers and mothers that have to decide to fill my carbs over a hundred dollars? That 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 lady or that man might not be able to bring their kids groceries. Okay, just or they might not get paid for two or three weeks. But you to put all your money into that. Normally, you know what? If, what if your what if your what if the water bill is twenty five dollars? Mm. The electric bill was hundred or fifty dollars. You got to buy. You, you putting families in a situation where they got to decide after families just came out of a goddamn pandemic. Nah, you put motherfuckers in a situation where they gonna hit them streets. Yeah, well, that's you know, what you. That's, that all comes like a, a non criminal way is you put these families in a situation like what do we do, mom? What do we do, dad? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You already beat everybody to death with the fucking uh, coronavirus. Shoot me here, shoot me there. Take this shot, take that. Right. Now it's another shot. What's the motherfuckers? Look, check it out. As long as a mankind's been on Earth, there's been sickness and viruses and plagues. <laughs> Since the biblical time, there's been sickness, virus, and plagues. That's always going to happen. Uh, you know what I say, Frank. Stay sharp, protect your family, and be very cautious with your money yeah learn so we tell everybody put your money in the llc get a business fucking loan go to another bank get another business loan then take that money and put it into a motherfucking trust and make yourself the only person that can hire it is a worker of the trust yeah and on top of That's that get life insurance get life, life insurance, insurance. And don't have nothing inside of your fucking name LLC first, get a loan, go to another bank, get another loan, trust, pay back that loan, and go from there. Absolutely. That's a jewel. That's a jewel. Air, it put, at least put 3500 in the money market and don't touch for five years. Mm-hmm. If, you, if, you, if, you, if you're going to be tempted, put the motherfucker in your kid's name. Yeah. So you, then you won't be tempted. And then you can't touch it. And everybody, if you put at least, and just say so you want to be safe, right? You have a money, interest, earning, savings business account. If you put twenty five dollars in this business account every week for fucking ten years, it'll grow with interest. 
you you have to make sure you do that. You would invest cryptocurrency is okay, but start small. Five hundred, let it grow for six months to fifteen months, then go to something else. Yeah. And always you know, based upon society, what we always say, water, toilet paper, um, and sanitary items, you always get in stocks because the world's always gonna need that. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Shit, bro, I gotta shake this leg. Great you back, man. Be safe out there, thanks. I appreciate you, brother. All right, man. Thank yes, you. Sir. Thank you, brother. Yep. Yo, man, so I hope y'all got that, man. Those some jewels, major jewels dropped right there. How to manage your money. And and like you said, <sighs> these are the times we're in, man. These are the times you're going to have to outthink um, these people in these situations. You're going to have to outthink um, these people in this in this economy. This is a thinking man's economy. You know, uh, long gone is the strong arm economy. This is a thinking man's economy, right? And you're going to have to really think your way out of these situations. You got gas at $8 or however the fuck, however high that's going to rise. And, and, and you're going to have to figure it out, man. You're going to have to figure it out and, and, and work on it. You know, do you need a new car? Do you need a whole lot of shit you don't need? And um, you're going to have to pay attention to that and, and, and be smart about it. Um, and for those in the industry, man, listen, uh, I, I know the idea is that the Instagram and a lot of you guys uh, will say, well, you know, how else can I promote myself? Um, I, I, I tell you, like I tell everybody else who asks this, who asks this question, you know, a lot of a lot of guys bring up Horseman Fan, for instance. I didn't create Horseman Fan. My wife created Horseman Fan. And the reason why is because um, our image of being used by several artists um, that we weren't really working for. So um, our image and our likeness is being used all over the Internet um, in several different situations. And um, my wife felt a way about it. So she created this page. Now, there's a difference between the Horseman fan page and, and other Instagram pages. We don't promote um, what we do on the page um, as far as who we work for. That's not what we do. You've never heard me tell you exactly who I work for because that's not the purpose. That's not our, our brand. Um, our brand is the work. That's what it is. It's the work. It's not the lifestyle. It's not the places we go. It's not how we get there. It's not who we work for. It's the work. It's the job. That is the horseman brand. The horseman brand is the job, the expertise, the experience, the resume, the 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 amount of wealth that we've protected in this industry. That's the brand. That's the job. Now, um, I, for one, don't care whether or not you're on a jet. I, for one, don't care who you work for. Uh, horseman Law, we don't give a fuck who it is as long as they paying the money. <laughs> you can be you can be Bill Gates or you can be um, just a brother that's saved up and wants to go out on the town and be protected. It matters not to me. It doesn't matter to a horseman. We're going to protect anybody who's willing to pay. That's the job. Pabos. Protection ain't based on sympathy. We're not giving anybody uh, a job. We're not giving anybody an opportunity based on sympathy. You're going to have to show us that you can work. You're going to have to show us you have the skill, the knowledge, <clears throat> And the experience to do this, man. Because I said this earlier in the show. Um, this is the, the time of exposure. Everybody's being exposed. Everybody's being exposed. At some point, at some period of time, you're going to have to prove what you're worth. Now, I ain't going to front. 
It's been a lot of dudes for a lot of years making a lot of money pretending. A lot of dudes. And I've never really said anything. And, and, and Killer J hasn't really said anything. But you start to see a trickle-down situation in the business, right? And, and you start to see the disrespect that comes in the business towards black men, especially. And not just black men, but other men as well, real soldiers out there. But you start to see a, a situation where it's harder and harder for men who are quality, quality soldiers who can't get a decent pay rate. And then you start to say, well, then why is this? Where does this come from? Where does this come from? And it comes from the same chicken and beer ass Negroes who go out here and work for nothing, right? Who are going out here working $400 a day or, or working for groupies and, 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 and experiences. See, because that's what they do. They're trying to pay you in broads and experiences, right? They're trying to pay you in broads and lifestyle, right? Then you have men like myself, men like Killer J and others who don't give a damn about the lifestyle. It don't count. It don't count. That jet don't count. It ain't yours, right? That jewelry don't count. It ain't yours. Them broads don't count because they ain't yours. I don't care how you get them. I don't care how they how, how 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 it trickles down to you. Those women don't give a fuck about you. They care about the money in the room. And a lot of dudes in this business have learned the hard way, thinking that a female gives a goddamn about you when there's money in the room. When there's money in the room, that woman cares about the money in the room. Now I ain't ain't no shots against her. Do what you got to do. The OnlyFans models, the Instagram models, and whatever hustle you got to do. The wifey's for a week. Whatever the hustles they got to go on, that's their business. That ain't mine. I'm a married man. But I'm going to say again, if you think women and experiences or women and lifestyle is a good enough payment when you can't pay your bills, you can't take care of your household. You can't pay your child support. You ain't doing this and you ain't doing that, but you out here living a life on vacations that ain't meant for you. You in the wrong business. That's not what we do it for. So remember that and stop posting the lifestyle and start posting the work. Show us the work. We want to see the work. And I'm not talking about you standing and posing with a client. We're not talking about that. I want to see you work. I want to see the work. If I'm looking at an Instagram page, if I'm looking at a brother's page who calls himself an EP executive and whatever fancy name you want to put on it, that's cool. If I'm looking at that page, I want to see the work. I don't want to see the lifestyle. That, that doesn't impress me. I don't care. I don't care if you're in Barbados. I don't care if you're in... The Cayman Islands, I don't care where you are enjoying somebody else's lifestyle. I'm not worried about that. I want to see the work. I want to see where you are come All-Star Weekend. I want to see where you are come the Super Bowl. I want to see where you are come these major events, these traffic, what we call traffic events. These are, these are high traffic events. This is where you see everybody who's somebody in the industry is in traffic. And those are the high traffic events. I want to see you out there. I want to see you. I want to see you out there in the trenches. I want to see you out there in the strip clubs. I want to see you out there putting in the work. If I don't see that, but I see you in some island somewhere kicking back in sandals, then you, then you you gonna have a problem being legitimized by men like myself and men like Killer J. And I mean when I say this, and I've said it before. Seek out mentorship. Seek out those in the business that who, who who do have the reputations, who do have the resumes, who can give you a, 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 a proper introduction into the business. But if you're out on your own and you're trying to do this and you're trying to make this happen and you're jumping in online and, you, and you're getting the Instagram page because you're doing one-offs at, at, at nightclubs, 
you're doing one offs as a bouncer and, and, and no disrespect to my bouncers and my men who work at nightclubs. I, I started in nightclubs. I started bouncing. I started working the floor at strip clubs. Nothing against that. But those are not bodyguard jobs. If a brother uses you for a one-off, if a brother uses you, that's not your opportunity to post that on Instagram. If somebody gives you a shot and gives you an opportunity to work with somebody for a day, that, that, that's an opportunity for you to shine at the work. That's not an opportunity for you to get photo ops. That's not, that's not an opportunity for you to hit the gram. That's an opportunity for you to show him and to show others in the business that you're, you're really worth something. You're really worth the, the value of money. Now, I understand this is a different time. This is a different day and age. Nobody's willing to apprentice. Nobody's willing to work for free. I did, though. So uh, you, you're going to have a problem getting pabos out of me. You're going to have a problem getting pabos out of me when you act like you can't work for free. I'm sorry. In that regard, Killer J has more. Uh, uh, more leeway with that. He understands and he thinks, you know, everybody should get paid for their work. I, I feel you. I understand, but I have no sympathy for you. I worked for free because I wanted to learn. I wanted to learn the ins and out of the business. I want to know how to do and what to do. I didn't think I was worth charging somebody some money, not knowing what I was doing. How do I, not knowing what I'm doing, charge a man for protecting him when I can't protect him if I don't know what I'm doing. You're a body if you don't know what you're doing. So examine that. Take self-examination. Do you know what you're doing? Do you know how to move? Do you know how to walk? Right? Do you know what positions? Are, uh, can you handle logistics? Can you advance? What can you offer a team, what can you offer a horseman out in the field? Take a self-examination. What can you offer in terms of work that makes you valuable? And a brother like me, a brother like Killer J, we don't have a problem paying you. We don't have a problem paying you if you're worth something. See, because I can go to a client, I can go to somebody who trusts the name Horseman, I can go to somebody who trusts the name Killer J, somebody who trusts the name Tank in this industry and say, you know what, Tank said he good, Killer J said he good, pay him what he wants, because we know we got somebody here. I can go to a client and say, this is a gunman, he knows how to carry, he knows what to carry, he knows what to say, he knows how to move, you can trust him. I ain't doing that for somebody that can't show me the work. I don't give a fuck how good your Instagram looks. That ain't happening. That ain't happening. And we ain't talking about you can lift up the gym. I don't care about that either. I don't care about that either. Lifting weights ain't protection. Stay healthy. Stay fit. Can you diet? Can you, can, can you work for hours? Can you stay up? Are you falling asleep all the time? Do you have sleep apnea? Are you overweight? Are you healthy enough to do the business? See, all these things come into play. All these things, self-awareness, public awareness, perception. All these things come into play in this business. Don't think it's just fun and games because you see us rolling around with clients. It ain't fun and games. It ain't fun. It ain't happy. It ain't happy times. People are out here doing serious work every day, saving lives. Being responsible for millions and millions, billions of dollars in wealth. Say that again. Billions of dollars in wealth. It ain't got nothing to do with you putting on a suit and a lapel pin. I'm tired of those too, them scarecrows. A, a, a suit and a lapel pin don't mean nothing. Don't mean nothing. Half of you get choked out by your tie. It don't mean nothing. Where's the work? Show me the work. I don't care what you look like. Anybody can put on a skin. Anybody can wear a costume. Anybody can dress up for Halloween. I don't care about that. 
Let me see the work. I want to see the work. I want to see what you've done. I want to see who you've protected. How much wealth have you protected? To ask for the numbers you're asking for. But salute to those who are getting it. If you're getting it out there and you won off Instagram and you out in the field, salute to you. Until you try to stand next to me. That's when the problem comes. So. I hope y'all soaked up the knowledge tonight and got all that. And, um, you know, if not, play it back. Go back. Go to go to Horseman Fan, Horseman Law Podcast on YouTube. You can find all the other episodes, Room Service Radio. You can find all the episodes. Um, follow us online. Subscribe. Do all that bullshit. I don't do any of this for money. Killer J doesn't do anything for money. We're doing here to educate our brothers in the business. The brothers of protection, we want you guys to be informed, entertained, and trained. That's why we do this on our own dime. So support. We're going to have merch soon. Uh, if you want to support that way, you can buy a bunch of merch. When we when we drop that, uh, represent. Uh, we're going to have some stuff for your ladies, too. So um, we're trying to make it happen, man, and we're going to continue to do what we do. So I close tonight's show like I do every night. With all due honor and praise to the Most High, I worship thee through the divine image of my wives. Amen and good night.